I started coming to Soul City probably in 2018. So at that time, I was going to a church, but it was a large church, and so I didn't feel known. So I was looking for somewhere where I could just kind of be known a little bit more. I also liked the worship. There was something different about the atmosphere for me. The lights, the sound, all of those things kind of created a space for me to go deeper in the way that I worship. And it was one of the first places that I felt emotional. Like, I would find myself like crying. And, you know, I later realized like, this is probably what people are talking about when they say they feel the Holy Spirit. That was something that brought me back again and again. The most spiritually significant moment for me was baptism. Well, I got baptized in November of 2023. I never really thought I would do that. I mean, I always love Baptism Sunday and I like watching it. It's emotional, and it's beautiful, but I didn't think it was something I needed to do. And I remember the Sunday before Baptism Sunday, John was preaching and at the end of his sermon, he was giving the spiel about Baptism Sunday. And I distinctly remember the Holy Spirit saying to me, you're gonna get baptized. And I was kind of just like, that's not true. I didn't wanna get baptized, but there was a meaningful reason why I had to do it. And, and God revealed that to me. I had been holding on to an identity surrounding fertility. I had been holding on to this identity that I probably would have trouble having children or that I wouldn't be able to have children. And I've had this thought for years. And so it was a way for God to wash that off of me and allow me to come out of the water without that identity anymore. And it was almost like a confirmation that you will be a mother. Um, and, and actually, that Sunday of baptism, John preached, and that was the essence of his message of washing away an identity and coming out new. And so that was just further confirmation for me that um, I needed it. I serve in Soul City Kids, and I like to serve with the babies. In the moments where the babies are crying uncontrollably and they're so distraught, and we call their mom and their mom comes back to us and, and picks them up, and it's that relief that you see them have. And it kind of reminds me of the way that when I cry out to God and when I'm distraught about something, God has that ability to give me that same just like instant relief. Ever since being invited into this movement of the church, I have felt a sense that there's an aspect of Soul City expanding that I'm supposed to be a part of, actually in a financial way. In order for God to do more in our lives, to bless us more, we have to be sowers. And the more that we sow, the more that God will give us. And so this invitation that we've been given, this opportunity that we've been given to be part of this movement is actually bigger than just us. It's bigger than even Soul City. It, it, it has to do with our purpose. It has to do with our children. It has to do with so much more than, than what we think. When we partner with God in trying to grow His kingdom and bring people into it, He honors that and He blesses us through that. I want to be part of it. I want to be part of the people that said, yes, I'm going to do that.